How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. With an undefeated season in the books, all that was left for the UH Warrior football team was to wait and watch. Today, the BCS Selection Show aired live right here on KHON2. All begins with the All-State Sugar Bowl on Fox in New Orleans. And look who's heading out to the bayou. The lone unbeaten in college football, Hawaii making its first ever BCS Bowl appearance. The team that'll play Hawaii in the All-State Sugar Bowl, Georgia which won 10 games in a season for the fifth time in the last seven years. What does a game like this not only mean for your program, but the school and Hawaii as a whole? Well, I, I, it, it's an uh, unbelievable experience. The last four weeks have been unbelievable for us. It's uh, not just about our football team, which is a great group of guys. It's about our whole state. Did you believe in a million years that you would be standing here with an undefeated team and a trip to a BCS Bowl? <laughs> I mean, this is a great experience. Uh, we're just so grateful and thankful to be in the position we are right now. And, um, you know, I can guarantee you that um, <laughs> it's not going to be just a football team going down to play in that Sugar Bowl. It's going to be a whole state of Hawaii showing up to play in that Sugar Bowl. In the entire country. And Thousands of fans were at the Stan Sheriff Center to witness the announcement along with the team. Sugar Bowl, New Year's Day versus Georgia in New Orleans. The game will mean about a $4.2 million payday for the University of Hawaii when it's all said and done. John Venary was down there to get player reaction. Overwhelming right now. Um, you know, it's just a great feeling, you know, just to see, you know, guys, the faces on all the guys, you know, the fans, your family members. It's just, it's a beautiful feeling right now. Can this defense do something against Georgia? Uh, yeah, most definitely. You know, I have confident, you know, confidence in all uh, defense players. You know, we go get job done. We've done all year. You know, when offense needs us to stop them, we've done it. So we're going to play big this upcoming game. National stage. Uh, the BCS, what, what we always dream for, and um, we're indoors, and I know this offense indoors will be dangerous, so, you know, we just got to really get ready for a tough opponent. First player we heard from, of course, was receiver Ryan Grice Mullins. How about a little info on that upcoming opponent? The Bulldogs are 10-2, and two, finished 6-2 and two in the SEC, won their last six in a row, finishing as one of the hottest teams in the country. They have a running back in Noshan Moreno, who was just named the SEC Freshman of the Year and is the 12th player in Bulldog history to run for more than 1,000 yards in a season. It will be the first ever meeting between these two teams. But none of this would have been possible had it not been for Hawaii's come-from-behind effort against Washington last night. The Warriors sealed the deal on an undefeated season and a BCS Bowl appearance by shaking off a nightmarish start and settling in for one of its most efficient performances of the season. Following three first-quarter fumbles and three first-quarter Washington touchdowns, Hawaii, down 21-0 on its home field, was in dire straits. That started to make me uh, wonder if maybe, you know, our... our uh, you know, tied a turn. That's when Brennan and the crew went to work. Once the second quarter started, the UH offense ignited in a way rarely seen this season. Brennan completed 20 consecutive passes in one stretch, finishing the game with 442 yards on 42 for 50 passing. In the process, hitting Jason Rivers for three first half touchdowns and four for the game. Rivers had 167 yards receiving and a career high tying four scores. I got a question for everybody. What's, what kind of team is 21 points down? You know, comes back, wins the game. I know the answer. You know, champions do. Washington took a 28-21 lead into the intermission, but the Warrior D started to slow down a Husky attack that featured 261 rushing yards, 145 by running back Lewis Rankin. Hawaii shut out UW in the second half, allowing for yet another set of last-minute heroics by Brennan and the boys. Colt found Ryan Grice Mullins with 44 ticks left. Hello, end zone. Hello, BCS. You're so focused on just finishing that, you know, you don't really enjoy it, but you do sit back and you think about how awesome it is. And there were a lot of awesome moments on that field tonight. You know, I knew we had 44 seconds left, but I knew we had done everything we could to win the game. And, you know, we were that close, and it was a great feeling. It wasn't official until Ryan Mouton got the interception on the Jake Locker pass that could have tied the game. 35-28 the final score. Hawaii goes 12-0 for the first time in school history. Thank you, Johnny Venari, with that report. Perhaps lost somewhat in all of this was the fact that it was also senior night. Hawaii saying aloha to 22 seniors, guys like Colt Brennan, Jason Rivers, Hercules Satele, in what will be long remembered as one of the most talented, decorated, and adored classes in program history. Not a whole lot of football coaches have ever gone undefeated in college football. And, uh, you know, wow, so proud of these kids. Uh, they just made a commitment to each other, a commitment to uh, uh, the team concept and uh, 
coaches did a great job. Greg did a good job. Everybody did a great job. The wins, the undefeated record, all that stuff. We could have lost tonight. I would have walked away a winner because, I mean, and I'm not just saying this, but you know, this team is special. The guys are special. They play for each other. I've never been a part of just such brotherhood, such camaraderie. And, I mean, it's so special. It's changed my whole perspective on life. Yeah, like I said, you know, being a senior, Every senior, every senior wants that for the last last game, you know. Me being local, in front of my family, in front of my friends, in front of my state, you know. Uh, I'm fortunate to go out on a killer note. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's no words again. I mean, I thought last week was it, but now it's even bigger, and we're going places now. We're going. We we're gonna be on the national stage, and um, we'll be ready. How about a rundown of all the BCS games? Again, Hawaii in the Sugar Bowl against the Georgia Bulldogs. Then in the Rose Bowl, it's going to be USC, the Pac-10 champ, taking on Illinois out of the Big Ten. Orange Bowl will feature ACC winner Virginia Tech against Kansas out of the Big 12. Fiesta Bowl has Big 12 title holder Oklahoma duking it out with West Virginia, champs of the Big East. And then, of course, in the title game, it's last year's national runner-up Ohio State matching up with the LSU Tigers. And don't forget, we'll have all the BCS action with the exception of the Rose Bowl right here on KHON2. Last year's BCS buster, Boise State, the team Hawaii defeated two weeks ago to claim the outright whack title, is headed back to the islands this holiday season to play in the Sheridan Hawaii Bowl December 23rd. Boise finished the season ranked 24th in the AP poll at 10 and 2. They'll play East Carolina game time at Aloha Stadium 3 p.m. again December 23rd. Meanwhile, the Rainbow Warrior basketball team was on the road today looking to avenge a season opening home loss to San Diego. Second time around against the Toreros. Well, same result. Hawaii coming up short, 81-67. The final Rainbow Warriors were led by Bobby Nash and Steven Verwers, both tallying 15 points apiece. Hawaii falls to 2-4 and four on the season. They come home to face Long Beach State next Sunday. And just wanted to remind everybody that we're going to replay our half-hour extended coverage of the BCS Selection Show following the news right now. So stay tuned, BCS Bound Selection Sunday special coming And out. definitely well worth it if you haven't actually seen it. Yeah, you I mean, see you, it at you can't get enough of this today, yeah. right? I mean, come on, there's room for more. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Thanks, Kanoa. You're welcome. And that wraps it up for us tonight. Thanks so much for spending a part of your evening with us. We hope to see you again tonight at 10. Good see night. See you later.